Hello everyone and welcome to Cossacks 2 Battle for Europe for the third or fourth time. And um, we've already played... That went, that went off then. We've played Britain, we've played Egypt, we've played Poland. Who should we play? I still don't want to do France. Sorry. <laughs> I just don't. It's kind of a toss up at the moment between the Rhine, Austria or Prussia. I'm gonna narrow that to Austria or Rhine because I think they're quite hard. Austria starts off in a pretty, it's pretty big, but it's pretty poor. Um, maybe we should do the Rhine. Let's do the Rhine. So we've got a Württemberg and Ox. Ernst the who's Ernst the first? Saxon Count, receive good education. Let's go Wilhelm the First of Württemberg. Let's do that. Who knows how this will go? I've never, I have not had a test game. I've not played this in a long time. Let's get rid of them. So we've got Hake du Duchy Fusilers. Average in hand to hand. Light coal consumption in that and halt. Dutchy Musketeers, so I quite like them. Right, so we start in an interesting position. And I think what we're going to do... I think I'm going to upgrade both Frankfurt and Stuttgart. So I'm very low on resources now, and I think we're going to go for Prague. Just because I want the coal. Maybe I go for Vienna now. Let's go for Prague. Let's go straight for it. Let's go straight in there against Austrian troops. Um, we're probably going to take a couple villages. And then just hang on for them to come to us. So I'll see in the match, because I think it might crash otherwise, if I'm remembering recording this in the past. It's been a couple of years. In fact, has it been a few years now? Anyway, I'll see you in the, in the match. And we're in. And first off, get this village. I want this village, definitely. So I can spot the soldiers going there were deserters run away from the enemy troops. attention there so fusilier are the good at melee troops and now I have a feeling they're gonna come this way so Let the civilians get out of the way. They don't need to die for this. It's not village hours. Woo, not paying attention to my morale, am I? So I'll let that just just let's just relax that. So there's our fusiliers. Let's get these over here. I think they'll come this way.
Maybe that's not such good positioning. Actually, let's let's swap them around. Let's get these this way and get the morale back up. We use these fusy layers. Let's come and attack this uh, this point here. Still not a fan of this bit. A bit. Got to remember, stamina is a pretty important factor. Some great top hats on here. I know they're not really top hats. I don't want them to get the use of these units as well. I think they're going to come this way. They survived that. That blows my mind. Ah. This will do. Let's attack. Let's attack. My men are a bit better. Not much, but a bit. They're going to get shots, but I think it'll be alright. Power through to them. Yes, yes. Kill them. That's going to hurt. Lost a few men. It's okay. So we've got 1,000 units of gold and 5,000 units of gunpowder. That is excellent. So in fact, we might be able to do something along those lines here as well. Noticing the stamina's uh, not regening very good on these. That'll be enough. You sit there and reload. We are under attack. We are under attack. Okay, this is good. I'm liking this. The enemy troops are going to show up soon, though. The more kills we can get, the more experience we can get, the better. Okay, they come. Oof. The stamina regen's not very good. I quite like them to be up there. I'd like this unit to come. Nope, not that way. Right, we've got the knees down, which is good because that means we've got all the extra. Okay, we'll take shots then. So 
Seems like an easy kill. Should be enough, maybe. Oh, I'm not loaded. That would have been a massive mistake. That's bad. Get behind the house. Get behind the house. And just reload them. Probably go on first line in the yellow. They killed absolutely none. This will be glorious, because I'm just going to about to uh, annihilate these. That should do it. Flawless. That went well. Land were terribly melee, and these fuses are excellent as it would turn out. We have seized victory. I'll see you on the uh, results screen. So there we go. We got. 1,225 XP, we got some for the extra quests, made on food, made on gold, actually made on coal, which is nice. We should be um, pretty good for coal now, seeing as we've got Prague and Frankfurt. And I'd almost, I think, like to make a non-aggression pact with the Prussians. A non aggression guard with the Prussians, they shouldn't attack. We're pretty fortified otherwise, so probably next. Hopefully, Wilhelm will go for Poznan and we'll go for Vienna. Oldenburg Duchy Voltigeur. Highly resistant to fatigue, light coal consumption, and good shots. I like that. And light cavalry, I don't want. I would like one. I want to sell. No, I don't. Let's just end the turn. See what happens. Okay, France moved away. This is good. It's like Austria's going straight for us. So it's eight on four. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's three XP. So I'll meet you in, in the battle. And we're in. All the villages are transferring to our control. And they've started down here, so the only way they're going to come up is through here, which leaves us nice and open. See the, uh, don't know why that's an enemy building, but okay. Fusilla, there's ours. Who's going to be first on the scene? Looks like it's one of our true. Yep, it's going to be two of our fusilier units will be first. Hmm. Moving a bit quicker than I wanted them to, because we're going to be down in a ditch here. In fact, this is going to be into action quite quickly. Miss time that one. Okay, we're all right. I 
think that's two of them down. They managed to get a troop up there. So we'll commandeer two of these to over here. We did actually kill quite a few of uh, our men there. But I don't think it's going to make a difference. I don't know what they thought they were going to do. Close. Mm. And now Just troops everywhere, they don't really stand a chance. Like, like they stood a chance at all before. Right, I'll see you on the results screen. And I'm back on the results screen, and as you can see, they lost a few of the two landvers. They didn't gain anything, they just lost. So, in fact, it looks like they got literally no experience at all. Whereas we get another nice thousand and lots of extra supplies for coming on the battlefield. Also, I just found out that my, uh, my monitors has changed. In fact, my whole PC's changed since I last played this game and my new monitor really does not like this game as in I have to turn it on and off to, to get it to work so that's something looks like Austria is going to have a very bad time soon in fact they're still having a bad time because there goes Mirad Bay if he captures it he didn't he will next time though Knaisevitz will go for Russia and gets it. Trapping Russia is, is a great thing. <laughs> so Kastanos misses his turn along with Russia. Got some resources so we can hire some more troops. So we can have two more. I uh, definitely want some of these bolts here. I do like the light coal consumption. I can't even get the light cavalry in, so I'm not going to use them as an option. Light call consumption, or better in hand to hand. I should probably get that. I don't think we're going to struggle for coal. Just out of interest, who does Mirad Bay get? They unlock one unit of janitories when they go up one level. Is that actually it? That's actually it. Oh, along with Knaisevitz. Ooh, get Chasseur and Ulans. The Ulans are so good in this game. We get Voltigeur and Fusilers. And I probably don't have enough of anything. No, I don't. But we're not really under. Oh, we are under threat from there. Is there any way I can get. Well, I don't even have the recruits, so I can't. But is it worth going to try and take Vienna? And then if he takes Prague, I'll take it back next turn. I could even go for Rome. I think if I take Vienna, then I can just try and ally. Or well, make sure non-aggression packs with all of here. And then just go and try and clear up um, Austria, Poland, and Russia. Russia before it gets too, um, too scary. I think Vienna's the choice. We will lose Prague, but we'll have four. I might have nine. We should be able to take it back again. 
and then obviously we push back to Budapest and hopefully we'll have enough resources. So I think I'm going to say that till next time though. So thank you for joining me in part one of Cossacks 2 Battle for Europe playing as the Confederation of the Rhine. See you all later. Bye.